What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be discussing V2.4, right? It's going to be coming tomorrow, right? It's going to be coming tomorrow. We know that. We do get information in game as well now and confirmation that we will be getting probably a free legend or something like that. It will be a chance deal, so probably a free legend or a free epic similar to the promotion that they did with V2.3 with the logins and stuff. So we did get confirmation in game here and then we also had it on Twitter, which I think they put that up last week. I did do a video on that which we covered that as well v2.4 coming 16th of february obviously which is tomorrow so after maintenance tonight there will be the thursday update and then we will probably have a lot of new stuff you probably have new nominating contracts you probably have new agents coins everything but what i really am looking forward to and what i'm kind of going to be putting under the microscope personally is going to be the gameplay which they talk about here I think just at the moment, the gameplay just needs to be, it just needs to be calmed down a bit, man. It's very chaotic at the moment, I think, especially with the fact that so many people have got beastly squads now, right? And also, as well as that, like, we need something with the match, authentic match as well, you know, for offline players. I know that the way that the game has gone now, at the moment, it is all online or whatever, but we still need to be able to play you know, matches against our friends and have events, not just trial match. So events tied into authentic teams, right? So speaking of the actual offline experience, we just have a bit of gameplay in the background. This is going to be a bit of a bit of a chat just for me and give you my thoughts on it, right? I've been very vocal and I've said that, you know, when I'm enjoying the game, I've enjoyed it. I think the gameplay does have serious potential there. Um, I think once they tweak a couple of things, when you play offline, you see kind of a lot of the stuff shine through that just gets lost in translation online. You know, you have the AI tackling you. You have tricks, you have kind of stop in the pace. I think the biggest thing that's lost online for me is that the game is just played like the football that you have to play, whether you play possession like me or out wide where you use your dribbles and you use your skill moves and you use your player's strengths and you take your time on the ball or else you play, you know, very, very meta 4-3-3 or 3-4-3 or 4-2-4 or and you just play your three center backs and you play your three center forwards and then you just play completely one touch pass, you know, spam fest or else really fast paced, um, you know, one touch pass and triangles. No matter which way you play, right? I feel like it's 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 all played at the same pace. Even when you slow down the pace and you try to kind of keep your foot on the ball, I just feel like it's not really rewarded, right? When you're playing offline, you do kind of see that like kind of acceleration and burst pass with, with good players, right? I also think we need to we need to tie in with these events, as I mentioned. These offline events, they need to be kind of where you can pick you know, a basic team. Like, why not have an event where you can pick Manchester United against the AI and go on maybe like a 10-game spree or something like that? It's like, oh, it's the end of the season, whatever. And you could tie that in with the match pass as well. I do think that the match pass has been a great addition, but, you know, imagine having something like, right, look, there's 10 games left in the English League. You know, you're tied at the top with Man City or, Man or Liverpool or whatever. You know, play these 10 games and try and win the league. And then, you know, you're just able to pick any team from the Premier League or any team from the La Liga or whatever team it is and just kind of play out maybe a 10 match or last 15 games of the season um you know something like that where you get rewarded with gp or you get rewarded with free legend coins or cards or epic cards or something like that to tie it all back because i literally have no problem with them tying everything back to the match pass with the way free to play games are gone like you know Warzone, fortnite rocket league it is all about unlockables it's all about unlocking stuff when you just play you don't have to win every game but it's just about your actual play play time or whatever and just continue to play right but they could also add some stuff we've done a little mock up here of you know the eFootball points shop which i think is a good idea and obviously you can get some fairly good squad players and i've had people contact me and say yeah i mean this is really cool you know the points shop if you're a newcomer and you know people are downloading the game the whole time and trying it out but like we could also expand that out to have like an epic player token so that instead of everything being random and in, instead of everything being um you know left up to whoever you spin say you want to get patrick vieira and you have you know you know that you're going to have to pop in 100 quid to get patrick vieira if that's what you want to do right or else you don't want to spin at all you don't want to spend anything but say you have like you know 15 20 e football points that are just sitting there that you could trade them in for an epic player token and then just go to the marketplace and buy him so last but not least we will discuss the online experience which i think is the big one now 
because at the moment, lads, you know, like it or love it or love it or hate it, we do have obviously an online specific mode with Dream Team. You know, obviously they can add events, which I think they will. I think with V2.4, I think that they will add um, offline stuff. You know, I think they'll add offline stuff, which will be teams or whether it'll be new events in the authentic match. Um, they've already mentioned that they will be adding new events. So I presume that some of those will be authentic matches and then others will be, you know, kind of what we saw at the launch of season three and with V2.3 uh, were new events and stuff like that. But I would like to see maybe the return of something like we got with the World Cup mode um, <clears throat> for offline. But who knows? Let's see. Let's see what happens. Obviously, we will know tomorrow. It's just all, um, you know, kind of like guessing or whatever with the way that things are going, right? But with the online kind of mode at the moment and the online aspect of dream team which is you know make it up 90 percent of the game at the moment right i think that the gameplay and stuff as i mentioned at the start of the video it just needs to just needs to relax a little bit i think you need to really kind of push home that you can play the game in multiple different ways right like if you take warzone which i often talk about on this and a lot of people have played warzone or fortnite you can choose what way you want to play it. You can be aggressive, you can be passive, you can kind of sit back and be very team oriented. Or if you're playing solos, you can be very, um, you know, like you can have good uh, situational awareness to the map and your surroundings and engage when only you want to engage. Or else you can go out and just shoot everything that moves. You know what I mean? Like you have the options. Whereas I think at the moment with V2.3 and what I'll want to see from V2.4, most importantly for me, will be the fact that like I don't have to play a certain way just to win games. You know, if I need to win a game, I don't want to go away from everything that I've done, everything that I've trained. Like I have built my entire squad for the last like 18 months about like, you know, based around out wide players, based around players that can play out wide. Um, I'd like to see new managers that can play out wide. Maybe, you know, that would be a big thing as well because I'm a little bit kind of, stunted that way in terms of my uh positions and my track my tactics and stuff like i've trained pretty much my entire squad to for a play style of out wide right and then they've you know released a load of new players obviously that have 90 in team play style proficiency in every formation okay but the problem is is that like instead of doing that they should just make it that you can play multiple different ways if you want to play possession you know you can be rewarded that you're not going to be constantly bombarded uh, with pressure um, and that's kind of where I think they need to do it is just kind of control the pace because at the end of the day man there's not a lot that they can do is if somebody's going to go out and spend a thousand quid and buy you know a team full of a hundred rated players because there is people that will do that you know that they'll want a hundred rated players in every position but yeah obviously with the challenges and stuff I like these ones as well that'll be something that I feel that they'll expand upon but yeah, lads, that's it. Just a quick video just on V2.4. Tomorrow, I will be doing a live stream where we'll be discussing everything. I will have a few videos up as well as all the new cards. It's going to be a big day. I'll be doing a live stream Thursday and Friday. We'll be doing subscriber showdown as well as some other matches and testing everything out. But until then, lads, I will talk to you later. Let me know what you want to see in the comments below. And I'll talk to you tomorrow in the live stream.